Hi everyone, welcome back with, with me in my yet another video. So today I want to discuss about Swagger, GitLab, and how you incorporate uh, like API documentation in your workflow. Okay, so I will start with my little project here. So I have a project where I have monorepo and then people is working uh, like in a distributed manner. There is Android uh, engineer, there is the front end, there is the iOS, and then we need to share like a contract or a protocol to talk with the database or a backend, right? And I want to make sure that this culture is deeply ingrained to the system. So what I'm doing is I'm creating uh, API documentation living inside the same monorepo, and then it is on a Swagger API spec, Open API YAML, and by default, uh, maybe you don't know it, GitLab already support Swagger out of the box. If you open Open API YAML, it show very uh, awesome like this. But I want to uh, take it further, right? So in here, if you take a look to the row uh, data, it looks like this. Just another YAML, uh, Open API YAML, right? And in here, what I want to discuss with you, it, it is a way to generate the documentation automatically using GitLab pages, right? So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm using a tool called Redoc. Redoc is one of the implementation of uh, Open API like uh, documentation. It's a little bit different. Uh, so if you see it here, the end result is a bit different with the one that coming from the Swagger, but it's still nice, right? Okay, so the idea what I'm doing here is I want to bundle or like com compile all the HTML of the documentation to the uh, GitLab pages. So I creating a these pages here where I'm using Node.js and then I install the Redux CLI and I'm running this command, which actually uh, reading documentation slash open API YAML and then create the output inside the public index HTML, right? And then I, what I want to do is I just want to create an artifact in GitLab where it is only on master, I will do it. And then after that, it will automatically create a GitLab pages where you can see on the settings pages. And what I'm doing, by default, uh, you will get coolcool.gitlab.io. But what I'm doing here is I'm creating a, a custom API uh, documentation domain uh, for my project CoolCam. It is inside API desktop.cool.cam, which is awesome, right? Now, uh, every time I create any API, I will enforce my backend engineer to create API documentation. And voila, you will get the result in here, which is pretty awesome, right? You get all the information you get the the model of the object uh something like this you get the example of the data that it returns and and so on and so forth and it is pretty amazing because uh like if if ipa documentation is created up front and not an afterthought you basically stemming a culture of good communication within the uh overall team where if there is something wrong on the API, uh, maybe front end engineer can give some feedback to the back end engineer. Hey, I need more fields. I need this data, that data. I don't need this data. So a collaboration is coming uh, when you have a, a very like strong communication tool uh, like API documentation. And I hope you like my video. Uh, and I will also put the code snippets down here on the doc on the description of the YouTube video. So if you like it, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.